Hi guys, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. I'm going to make some uh, stuffed buffet this evening. Somebody requested them, so I'm going to do it the easy, fast way out so we can get it out on the net. All you need is some um, onion, diced really fine, and I shredded some cheese. It's better to buy it in the big block. It works a lot better. It melts better inside of it. And you're going to need some Crisco, some ground lean beef. Don't get the generic kind. It's better to spend a little more and get the ground beef that's lean in order for it to work much stronger for you and taste better. And I'm going to use the easy way out, which is called the pizza dough, because it takes too much time to put the mutis and all that good stuff. That's on another segment. Show you how to make some poofing. So all you need is your onion, your cheese, your hamburger, your lard, and also you need your pizza dough. And I shall return. Okay guys, I'm back. I put the hamburger in the pot in order for it to kind of cook and to have it going ahead. And I put salt, pepper, garlic salt, and garlic powder in there. And I shall return. Okay guys, it's been cooking for about uh, 10 minutes or so. So now we're going to throw in the onion in order for it to cook with the onion to seep in the flavor. And we're going to let it cook and simmer like that for about approximately 3-4 more minutes. So the onion can get a little soft in it. And I shall return. Okay guys, I'm back. You guys got to get your guys selves a beauty and you guys got to get a big body acha so the chuchin could go ahead and get warm. I got it on high right now so we're going to let that go ahead and go take its course and then I shall return. Okay guys I'm back. Now you get some flour and you need a chopping board or something that you can lay the flour on and you kind of spill a little bit of flour with your hands and you just kind of rub it through in order for it to get all over the chopping board and I will be right back as soon as I get my pizza dough unraveled. The dough is out. So what you got to do is you got to put a little flour on top and what you got to do is you got to kind of turn it around and warm it up in your hands because it's still a little bit cold and you know when you from with these or when you're doing something the dough has to be warm. It has been setting out since I got it from the grocery store, but that don't mean anything. You still got to kind of work it with your hands a little bit, and then you got to start rolling it out, and I shall return. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can tell, you just kind of need to stretch it a little bit, and just kind of move it around a little bit to kind of make it go into the right place that you want it to go into. Get a rolling pin, and you start to roll it in order for it to start to grow. Nice and easy, nice and slow, because it does cut just as regular flour, just as regular stuff. It'll cut, so you got to turn it, and you got to just kind of keep rolling it to your liking, however thick you want it, however thin you want it, and just keep on going. Now, if you feel that the piece is too hard for you to handle in your hands or on your chopping board, what you could do is you could cut it in half and get that done for yourself. So I will return because I will cut it in half to show you guys. Okay guys, this is how you stuff it. You get some hamburger. Don't put a lot of hamburger in there because it will overflow and it will go ahead and pop because remember you're putting it in hot lard. So you put a little hamburger, you get your little cheese and you put on some cheese as much as you wanted the cheese because that won't melt. Then you get your finger, put a little bit of water in order to close it all up. And you just kind of close it. Remember, you already seasoned your hamburger, so you're good to go. Then you fold it over, and you kind of fold the side through. You get yourself a fork, and you just smash it. What you're doing is you're kind of making a hot pocket, but it's not really a hot pocket. It's mainly a bufa stuff. Fast, easy if you have some company and kind of need to get something going here. Something different, something quick and easy to make. And you just make sure that you close it tight in order for the filling not to pop out. This filling, let me tell you guys, I just did it 
Lento mangi maro, tetonto mangi pomaro, a hamburger with a little onion with the seasoning. Mm, mm, mm. It was good. All righty, let's go to our lard. We've already warmed it all up. And let's see what happens. Ready? Okay, guys, I'm back. Now your chichen is real hot right now, so you get your pufa and you just kind of drop it in there. You get your big body acha and you just keep pouring it on like that. And just keep on doing that till it kind of gets a little bit browned. As you can see, it's starting to poof up and starting to get big. As you can tell, the middle is a lot bigger. That's because you have stuffings in there. And you just want to keep on putting the lard on top of it. And just keep on doing that till you kind of see it a little bit brown and getting itself together. Wow, you guys are missing out. If you guys were here, let me tell you, it is a good one. And you can have a little Tabasco sauce with it, or a little yuto. A little yuto will do it. And then you just kind of get it. You see how big it got? And you flip it on the other side. And these are good to go by themselves. So you can have a little fresh tomatoes with them. And you're good. And we are done. Um, okay, guys, here's another one. It's going into the kitchen. Here's the one that's already ready to go. See it? It's nice. It's fluffy. It's golden brown. It's good to go. Thank you for joining me on the Gypsy Food Network. It can also be seen at www.gypsyfoodnetwork.com. One more look at it, guys. You just kind of get it, and you just throw the chichen on top of it with a big variata, and you're good to go. Nice to mangy, and we'll talk to you soon.